left the Olympics already after four days, three days, four days? Four days, three nights. Three nights, and now we're in. So, reverse engineers is all about new experiences, and we've just left uh, the Olympic Games. Now we're in Busan. This is the Busan Tower behind us. It is 180 meters high. It is. And it's standing on top of a hill of 69 meters. Yeah. So around 200 meters, an overview of the city Busan. So, um, refreshing, like I said, refreshing is all about new experiences. And I think we had a, we had a great experience at the Olympics. It was our first time at the Olympics. Um, great experience for everybody visiting and a great experience for all uh, athletes, uh, winning or losing. I think it's, uh, it's quite special that you can participate in something like the Olympics. So despite we are on the other side of the world experiencing a great sports event with a lot of ups and downs, with a lot of emotions, we also heard about the news in America about the school shooting. And Jacob uh, would like to share his thoughts with you. So we heard about the terrible news in Florida. May all victims rest in peace. Can be so fucking angry about these shootings. And I think I'm not alone. I know I'm not alone. Um, what happened on Valentine's Day is uh, unfortunately not an incident. I wrote down some thoughts uh, I'd like to tell you. America has a long history of school shootings. One example is the shooting at Columbine High School in 1999. The shooting in South Florida reminded me of the film Elephant, directed by Gus Van Zandt. I remember that when I saw this film, Van Zandt let me kind of experience the shooting myself because of the point of view shots he used. It made and makes me cry that school shootings are still happening today and are actually happening in the real world. Bowling for Columbine, a 2002 documentary by Michael Moore, already showed us how easy it is to get a gun in America. And he showed us the American predilection for gun violence. I watched Bowling for Columbine again, and one sentence stick to me. If more guns make people safer, then America would be one of the safest countries in the world. It is nine years after Columbine High School, and not much has changed. The problem is that school shootings are not incidents in America, but still are very present. Most of the important American news organizations have reported 18 school shootings alone in 2018. This number has been corrected downwards by the Washington Post because not all shootings were school shootings. In any way, the fact is that school shootings do not belong to exist, but still do exist in the United States. Despite the high rate of shootings in the US compared to Europe and other countries, I do not think Americans are homicidal by nature. Of course not. So what is the problem? We live in a world where healthcare is being stripped and people who need psychological help cannot get the help they need. So more and more people around are confused. The last year I noticed an increase in confused people doing weird stuff when I watch the news. Confused people combined with the digital era and additional individualization in society will lead to solitude. And solitude can be dangerous for us all. My point is that healthcare isn't so fucking important. Not everyone can manage themselves. People who need different sorts of help deserve help. I think we're all together smart enough to realize this and make this happen. So you know that confused people do weird stuff. What do you do with confused people? You help and you protect them, yes. But do you protect them with guns? Might be a quite dangerous combination, right? Americans live in a modern and civilized society. Why is it still possible for citizens to get legally a semi-automatic weapon so easily? And why can they buy their bullets at the Kmart store? How? I really, really don't understand this. What is anyway the purpose of a semi-automatic gun? Some people will tell me I won't understand this because I'm not American and I don't understand the Second Amendment. That could be true. I'm European. I have a different identity. But after all school shooting experience in American history, some lesson must be learned. I don't like the idea that citizens can get guns so easily. 
and especially not confused ones of people who are in need for help. A study of World Health Organization found that among high-income nations, 91% of children younger than 15 who were killed by bullets lived in the US. Think about it again. Nine out of 10 of these children from prosperous nations who were killed lived in the US. How come? Ask yourself this question. No one has the right to tell me that I can't have it. That is an argument which is used a lot by proponents of gun possession. Their constitution says so. These people need to start thinking about when guns fall in the hands of people doing crazy stuff. I repeat the bowling for colorblind sentence again. If more guns make people safer, then America would be one of the safest countries in the world. But it isn't. So Americans, do something about it. Take good care of your healthcare system, help confuse people and solve your firearm problem. Let your opinion be heard and stop that big lobby which prevents stricter weapon laws. So don't prison yourself in your own house with your big fence, your locked doors and your armed guns. Do not exaggerate by living in gated communities and all your other barriers that were created. Instead, go outside and look around and talk to the people around you with a different background and perspective so we can learn from them. I think how the future can be. Think about it again. So as a reverse engineer, we like to explore and see the world. We like to experience new things. While traveling, you will respect and understand other customs than you are used to and you will have a laugh with people with a totally different background. We think understanding others is a key item here. So we like to show and experience the nice things in life. And we want to show you how fun it can be to have deeper insights in different cultures. So that's why we are going to explore Busan with Andre. Hey! Andre! Hi. So Andre, what are we going to do? And then...